guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Um, today I'm going to be doing a St. Patty's Day inspired um, tutorial. I like to do tutorials for each of the, you know, kind of holidays because it's fun. Like I said, even if you're not going to actually do a green look on your eyes to go out for St. Patty's Day, it's fun to just play around. So I encourage you guys, um, if you don't feel comfortable wearing this, out just to play around if you you know have some green eyeshadow maybe try it out like maybe you will be comfortable so I encourage you guys to do so and let's get started um, today I obviously did my face I did my full face and lips because I really just wanted to focus on the eyes um, and I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions um, the mini palette I actually haven't used this one this is one I've been kind of holding on to I was going to do kind of like a color series, do, you know, different colored looks, but I thought this palette really, really kind of um, was perfect for today. And then the other one that I kind of grabbed was the Good as Gold for, from ColourPop because I want to incorporate the gold as well. And these have some really beautiful shades. I've already primed my eyes with Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Um, this one is a newer try for me. I know it's not new to, you know, the makeup beauty world and industry, but it's new to me and it's actually pretty good. For a drugstore option, it is really good. It holds onto your makeup, it sets down a good base, and it helps with long lasting. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to be going off of the Emerald Obsessions right now. Let's go into, let's just go right for it and go into this like emerald green dark shade and we're gonna put that all over the eyelid. Let's just do it. Um, so I'm actually going to use my finger to pat it on the lid. I wouldn't typically do um, a green eye look, but I mean, it's, I wanted to, you know, kind of change it up and do something for St. Patty's Day, so you might as well go big or go home. I know I've been doing a lot of bold looks lately, and um, I, do, I do want to do some more natural looks because in reality, even though I do feel comfortable going out with bold eyeshadow, I don't really care. I go to the grocery store, like with this look on um but that being said for like an everyday it, it definitely isn't you know what i wear so um stay tuned because i am going to be doing some more natural every day some more looks for those of you who really are looking for tutorials for like something that you would actually try and wear um so don't feel like all you're going to get from this channel is like bold and crazy because it just happened to be that way lately. I'm gonna take a Sigma Tapered Blending Brush E95, and I'm gonna take that same shade. That's that kind of dark matte green on the middle row to the right. I've never filmed that night because I have other things to do and usually by the end of the day I have a two year old and I work from home and I you know I'm busy like cleaning all day long basically cleaning up after my dog and my son and my husband so you know I don't really feel like coming down at nine o'clock and recording but today I just had to to get the video done so I'm sorry if I like seem tired I'm going to take this almost like mint green shade I have swatches from lipsticks on my hand like stains but it's that mint green shade it's really bright I'm gonna take it with a I'm gonna pick that up with a morphe e30 dust off the excess and just kind of blend out those lines to soften them at the edges do is I'm going to take this gold shade in the bottom right corner from the Huda Beauty palette on a smaller brush and I'm going to go 
along the edge of the crease. See, I don't really like this gold. I wanted to give it a chance. It almost like blended with that. I don't like that. It almost looks yellow now. So I'm gonna go over that actually with one of these golds. I'm gonna wipe that excess off. Use the same brush and let's use, I'm gonna go into gold star. Gold star in this good as gold palette. Same brush as I was doing with that other gold. I'm going to go over that. Yeah, that's way better. And this one's blending a lot easier. along that edge where I left the gold where I stopped with the gold and I'm just kind of blending it and pulling that gold in a little bit so that there's no definite line going with that gold star I'm going to do the frame I'm not going to go ahead with the gold from this I wasn't really pleased with that gold. it was like kind of like almost a lime green yellow gold it was weird so I went ahead and did my winged eyeliner with the let's do it in the gold shade my camera stopped filming so i'm just gonna update you on what happened it is late at night and i apologize so i um did the winged eyeliner eyeliner with that black shade then i am going underneath with that green shade from the huda beauty and i'm kind of smoking it out a little bit because again I mean we're going bold so my eyes do get really irritated by the end of the day I think just from I don't know my eyes are really sensitive some days I don't know what's going on with my eyes they get really irritated really easily um, especially when I find if I do my makeup at night but so just ignore that those are red. We're just gonna ignore it. So now all I have to do is my falsies and we're done. Another thing I noticed is I got a lot of fallout, like to the point it was like bad. <laughs> I did my best to fix it, but I noticed as I was doing my black liner, not only did that fall, but I noticed a lot of green from the Huda Beauty palette. So um, when you're using this palette here, I would recommend doing your um, eyes first. And I mean, with the black color, you could use it wet. That does hold it to the brush a little bit better without all the fallout or just, you know, be a little bit more careful. I didn't really notice until I was done. Again, it's late. So I'm going to go ahead and put my uh, mascara and falsies on and I will be ready. All right. So I am finished the St. Patty's Day look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I think this is so much fun and I actually am so sad I have to take this off now. Um, but um, this is the type of look that you're like maybe halfway through like did I go too far here? Should I have not gone that bold? But it's just, you know, everything comes together. And especially once you add some glitter, some liner, and some lashes, every, you know, pretty much you can redeem any look with that. I mean, maybe not any look, but pretty close. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a super fun, super great St. Patty's Day. Everybody be safe. Have fun. 
Um, and don't forget, if you watched my last video, don't forget, I have a giveaway right now. Um, if you want to know what it is, go ahead and watch my last video. It'll be linked below. And you can also, in the description on that video, you can, um, it will tell you how to enter. So yeah, make sure you go and check that out. Um, all of the makeup I wore today will be linked below as well. No affiliate links, no sponsored uh, sponsorship. And yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.